you know, the thing is with festivals, there's that, there's that element of family that just happens at film festivals. Not everyone. You can't, but not, not, everyone. not everyone. Yeah, not everyone. The, 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 the serious festivals that will really welcome you and put you on, like the experience you've had in, in Montreal to, to now, to now kind of like, you know, continue that journey to be in Toronto again. It's, it has never happened before to us to mm. go to from one festival to another, sister festivals mm. with the same people and kind of like elevate from just, you know, being in the program to now opening for. Mm-hmm. That's incredible, man. Mm-hmm. And for me, that's 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 that family thing to say, yo, these guys take you seriously. It, it's very encouraging because now you look at yourself and you're like, hey, yeah. these guys take me seriously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. the message that is in a film like Tina Sobabili, for example, you can't take that stuff lightly. And mm-hmm. for somebody to recognize that, priceless. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get this film seen by as many, as many people as possible, you know. Um, I mean, getting stuff like distribution and stuff like that, you know, it's, the, it's one of the things that's been the most difficult mm. to, to get, you know. So what we saw here today really gives us so much hope is that, okay, by the time we leave here, at least, you know, we must have gotten some kind of like links, a, to, links someone. to someone, mm. the big TV channels that's sponsoring the, the festival, you know, um, the big businessmen that are in the crowd. You never know who's in the crowd at that. And by far, this has been one of the most biggest uh, audience. crowd audience that we've ever had. You it's know, probably is the yeah, biggest. it's the biggest, yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah, full. full, it was full, it was, it was packed out. So, to to get a distribution deal and to to try and get this film seen by as many people as possible, I think that's one thing that we really want want to want to mm. to achieve. Yeah. I mean, strategy you adjust as you go, mm. but what we're gonna definitely do is immerse ourselves totally mm. within the festival. We're gonna be at the first film to the last film at the talks, because also it's a, it's a learning curve from us. You know? I mean, we're, from, we're from Johannesburg, which is on the other side of the world, you know, and we are constantly growing as creatives and trying to learn as much as we can. So any opportunity to learn, and if you have it, you need to grab it, because yeah. it just makes you better as an artist. So. Working with other artists, learning people's processes, and I mean, we now, our next film, um, was birthed at a festival in Barbados, you know what I mean? So, m- meeting with, with people that think like you and, and, and like the similar things as, as you, but have a completely different process, that's the biggest learning you can do. And then, if a project comes out of that, even better, you know what I mean? Day three of the festival, it's been absolutely fantastic. Got to see some really amazing films. Like it's always nice seeing films that surprise your view of the world, you know? And being able to meet the actual filmmakers and talk to them is super special and super fantastic. So, so far so good. Also got a few meetings with a distributor, like that was our, our first thing that we wanted to see. So I guess they now have the film, so we wait and see. I hang around after the Q&As and once all the Hoopla Hoopla has done, I sort of like approach them and speak to them and ask them about either cool techniques I saw them use or how they did certain things. Just to better myself as well, just to satisfy my curiosity. But I would say I've changed my approach because like my approach is always open. So I was open to whatever comes my way and whatever, whatever would lead me to any direction. I mean, we just met um, every, every order. I mean, like we exchanged emails. I mean, I mean, her resume is as long as my arm, you know? So it's just stuff like that that you wouldn't get in the It's a privilege. I mean, there's a lot of filmmakers that are from everywhere that potentially we could collaborate with, that we've spoken to. There's guys we met from LA, there's guys I met from New York. Yesterday we went out to drinks with them. Um, yeah, so it's it's... It's, it's a nice community of, of, of young independent filmmakers, you know, trying to break into the into the big mainstream, some of them, you know, but really try and get their work out there and have a collective uh, body of work that that this kind of festival offers you a chance to show your, your, your work to the world, you know. So, yeah, I've met quite a few people and we'll see. There's potential of, of collaborations, you know. I can't mention anything right now because it's still in talks, but 
It's very exciting. Yeah, I'm very excited. It, it kind of, you know, when you get into a place where you have a product you have full, and you come to a place like this, you want to showcase your product, and you get to see what other filmmakers are making. You get to meet those filmmakers. It's it's a different experience than just getting out of your house, going to the cinema and watching a film, and then eat your popcorn and go home. This is a completely different way of watching films. It's it's very integrated. It's very it's an intense program where the festival has done a great job as far as arranging markets, arranging seminars, so that you know it it provides a platform for filmmakers and the general public to engage so you get you get informed in the in-depth of filmmaking so so that that really stuck with me a lot okay. we've got momentum momentum on our side so it's um, that's that kind of helps you know to have the confidence to be like, okay, cool, we've seen, we've seen the response that the audience has of the film. We've got a current project that we're already working on. The script is ready, uh, we're in pre-production phase. We're gonna shoot in Cape Town and in Barbados. So the next two weeks, it's uh, hola, hola, the Caribbean, you know? So it's exciting times. I mean, we were opening film and South Africa was represented in, in both ways, opening and closing film. So that really was, was a big was a big thing for me. You know, it, was a, it was like it shows that we are making uh, strides in terms of the film business. And yes, we did meet a lot of people that we we never would have met anywhere else. And with potential, you know what I mean, that we can come and do work here with a lot of people, collaborations. You know, so it was it was well received. So it really makes us happy. Bags are in. Kamal's still checking in. Ernest here, so we're good. It's looking real good. Looking very, very good. So let's do it. <laughs> but hey, we'll be back in the summer or in the other winter. But you know, none lost. Everything gained. Knowledge, experience, great relationships, great people. Just a great atmosphere. It's a lively atmosphere, and the fact that Toronto is a city where art is appreciated—that's another thing. You know, you can have a you can have a festival like the Black Film Festival. You can name it whatever. The fact that it's in Toronto, there's a market here. People do come out. I mean, it's minus 20 degrees Celsius outside, but the cinema house is full. You know, I mean, it tells you something. That people are looking for something. People are looking for stories to be told, and that's why, that's why we do what we do. We are out here telling stories and, and to engage with other storytellers, that's, that's pretty magnificent because that, it kind of like it trains your story muscle so that moving forward you can tell better stories. And that's, that's the aim for me. I want to tell better stories. <laughs> if it snows and we stay inside. Yeah. <laughs> I think the weather's probably our biggest. The weather's biggest. our biggest fear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who's from Africa? From man. Africa, we we're just, just we're, in the the middle, we're in the middle of summer. <laughs> yeah. So we That's came here. It's like minus minus something. <laughs> we're just telling stories. That's what we do every day, all day, every day. When we wake up at lunchtime, supper time, we're just telling stories. That's what we do. Airport Period. time. Airport time. Breakfast time. Period. <laughs> telling like stories. Like right now. now, again, we're telling more stories. So again, with a real life documentary. <laughs> <laughs>